lot of new and exciting things to come. to my channel. I know a lot of you guys are new here, so welcome and thank you so much for subscribing. I also wanted to quickly say thank you guys so much for being so supportive and kind in the last couple of videos. I've been seeing so many comments and it's just, uh, it's crazy. I'm just shocked and I'm so thankful to have you guys here with me and you know thank you guys for those of you who are in LA for welcoming me with such open arms. It just makes me really warm and fuzzy to know that I have all of you guys who don't even really know me just genuinely supporting me and being here with me so thank you. Thank you again. So I've just been organizing like crazy, staying in, working i do still work at complex and my hours are just like smack right in the middle of the day so i don't really have a lot of time to do much I'm pretty much stuck in the apartment for a majority of the week um but i promise you next week it'll get a little bit more interesting but this week it's just been a whole lot of organizing so without further ado go ahead and enjoy the rest of the vlog finally got to unpack a lot of boxes by no means is anything organized everything is just kind of loose in drawers but one step at a time i'll just show you guys kind of the progress for now put my slippers on i've managed to narrow it down to these boxes my room so i didn't realize how small this room was i have a queen size bed so it pretty much takes up the entire room and then a closet is such a disaster but again i am only just trying to put things away for now and then i'll organize it a little bit later i'm feeling good though because it got so much done you can also see my cabinets i already have some stuff going on this right here is gonna be like my drink stations by the way grocery shopping in la is so much cheaper than in new york it's crazy i feel like everything in la is just cheaper than new york except for gas gas i've noticed is like four 430 per gallon and that's just ridiculously high. I don't have a car yet, but I'm I'm probably going to get a car either by the end of this month or early next month realistically because I was originally going to wait like 3 months to get a car, but I'm already like I I need one. Just got another package from Crate and Barrel with these cute little beer glasses. Just such a vibe. So I got six of these. And then I got some cute black coasters. They're just kind of like a stone vibe. I need to remove all the sticker residue on the bottom of these glasses. And this is like notoriously the most annoying thing to do because it just, just doesn't come off. So the trick is to use some rubbing alcohol or if you don't have rubbing alcohol, you could use like hand sanitizer with high alcohol percentage. I'm gonna use the wipes. So right here I have this much left. I've already started rubbing, but oh yeah. And that just like comes right off more. All right, done. So I ordered these shelves from Amazon. I'm just gonna figure out how to put it together.
up alone on the floor. Cause I feel haunted in my bedroom, the floorboards in the next room will keep me warm. We have sponges, extra soap in the back. This is all of the Brita filters. Down here, we have the Swiffer sweeping cloths right here. Some extra garbage bags, recycling garbage bags, everyday garbage bags up here, Swiffer wet wipes, extra paper towel, got my little recycling can, normal garbage can, dishwasher pods, and then in the back over there we have some cleaning supplies. This makes me so happy. So part two, we have this mess of a situation. So I'm just gonna get to organizing and give you guys the big reveal right now. Nice and organized now. Still gotta figure out what to do with this middle situation, but for now it's perfectly fine. Up here, I just have extra toilet paper and then this drawer is for all feminine hygiene products. In this drawer, I just have like a bunch of like chargers for my toothbrush, the Clarisonic and like extra uh, cotton pads. And then down here are all my hair tools, except for the hair dryer. The hair dryer is up here because it doesn't fit in the drawers. This isn't gonna be here forever, but I have a bunch of my perfumes here. I'm gonna probably put it on my entryway shoe cabinet once that comes in. But for now, it'll just be here. Up here is for skincare that I use sometimes, but not regularly. Once I run out of the products I'm currently using, I'm gonna open these guys up. So I put them here. This drawer is for masks. I wanted to put this upright, but it doesn't close if I do that, so it's just gonna have to look like that for now. Down here is just a bunch of makeup. I have eyeshadow palettes in the back, but this is makeup that I don't use daily, so for now, it's just right there. And then up here is a box filled with brand new products and skincare and some makeup. That's just what I have in stock right now. So this is what the bathroom is looking like at the moment. This is an old bath mat that I have. Obviously just towels. In the corner, I just have the standard like cleaning supplies. And then above the toilet, it's a fake plant, Aesop post poo drops, and some matches. When you light a match and blow it out, it really helps with concealing the poop smells. <laughs> so this is clutch for when I have guests over. At the sink, we just have a soap, lotion, and then kind of like toothbrush stuff. My glasses are right here. This I wanted to put inside the medicine cabinet right here, but it wouldn't fit. This is too wide for it. So I guess this is just its home for now. I have some floss, cotton pads, and then Q-tips. And then this also doesn't fit in the medicine cabinet, but next time I'm gonna get a smaller one so that I can just put it in here and not have it out on the counter. And then I have this cute little catch-all. It has some boobies. Uh, it's from Urban Outfitters but I just put like my daily jewelry over here. And then in the medicine cabinet, I have makeup up top, more skincare. This area is like the skincare that I use like daily. Same with this. Everything here is just kind of like my main rotation. Hey guys, I'm in Sue. I'm in Sue. <laughs> Pretty cheap from Ikea. Perfect for this little nook by the bathroom slash entrance. And it fits four shoes comfortably, but I can definitely like squeeze a little bit more. Um, but it's just really simple, plain. I don't know if I've shown you guys this chair actually. This is my new office chair. It's from a brand called Laura. Really good quality, but doesn't cost as much. I'm still waiting for a replacement piece for the couch. That's gonna take forever, I already know. I have to still order a rug. I don't know what I want the rug to be. I just know I want it neutral. I have a coffee table that I ordered way before I even flew in, and that's not getting here until mid to late July. So I'm gonna be coffee table-less for a while. This is what the fridge is looking like. I just went to H Mart. So it's starting to fill out a little bit. 
and I had to stock up on condiments. That was like the first thing I need to do. And then I stocked up on my little pantry cabinet. Just all of your Asian essentials. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Guys, I have a very exciting new addition to the apartment. This was another housewarming gift to myself. That's what I'm telling myself at least. But I got a new Dyson hairdryer yesterday. I will say that I have tested this bad boy out for a couple days in a row in the past and I noticed a real difference in the texture of my hair. I use a hairdryer every day. That's why my hair is so dry a lot of the times and my hair stylists usually give me crap for it. What is the difference? Oh, one's thinner. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Exciting new package. Woo. I got the good old pond mirror. I'm just gonna leave it here at the entryway for now, but I think I eventually want it above the sofa. Oh, and quick update on my bedroom. I don't know what it is about my room, but I just like refuse to organize it. It's just really overwhelming for me right now, but I have my bed set up. My jute rug is still rolled up in the corner because I just, I just can't right now. And then I just put like all my books and knickknacks on this windowsill for now, but I don't want to keep it here forever. I want to get wall shelves eventually somewhere. I think I'm gonna put this up for sale as well as the monitor, um, just because I'm going to get a standing desk eventually in this little nook. I mean, the apartment is coming together, no rush. For now, I'm really just focusing on working and meeting new people. I do have a good amount of friends out here in LA. I have like a few very, very close friends, but for the most part, a lot of my friends here are more on the acquaintance side. A goal of mine is definitely to, you know, just foster new relationships, but a lot of new and exciting things to come. So make sure you're subscribed and thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Huge shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators of all levels. They have thousands of classes for anyone looking to explore areas like video editing, design, freelancing, and more. I personally get so many questions about how to grow online but Skillshare has more tools and better answers than I can probably provide. I found classes taught by Gary Vee, Jeff Staples. There are never any ads and it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. So I will have the link in the description because the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link will get a free trial of premium membership so that you can explore your creativity.